I am Dr. Karen Perkins and we are live in Newport Beach at the Speaking Empire Amplify event and you know I am so excited because I am with the one, the only, the beautiful, the talented and really the queen strategist, a woman who knows how to help companies succeed through from A to Z with her five C's. Holly Molesky and Holly, you truly are one of those experts that companies have to have, but they don't always realize it. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit more about what you do, why you got there. I know your story of why you got there and how important it is is fabulous. But what brought you to this, and what is it that you do for people so that they have that better environment at work and more productive? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks for having me here, too. I so appreciate it. It's been really an honor. Um, you know, I really have a passion for helping organizations and executives to really understand how to build a business that thrives, where your strategy is, is being articulated in a way that actually inspires your employees to really want to be a part of it and own it just as much as you do. And there's a lot of components around that. We talk about the five C's, as she mentioned the five C's. I talk about conscious leadership. My passion is really bringing service-based organizations into the world. And I'm not talking nonprofit. I'm not talking save the world. It could be those things, of course. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about everyday business because businesses are by people, for people, period. Your bottom line, your financial performance, that's, a, that's a, an outcome. Yeah. And so what we want to do is think about how am I actually inspiring my team to get behind my strategy? And it starts with you, the leader. The first C is consciousness. You know, I, I really love that. And you, you said something about inspiring them mm. to know the message and letting them know it. It's amazing. I have yet to meet a company where all of their employees knew the entire mission statement and why, what it stood for. Yes. It's like, okay, that's maybe written on the wall, but eh, that's what it says. Absolutely. Most value statements, they stand on a plaque on a wall. And they don't have any real meaning and relativity into the organization. And a piece of what I do is how do we actually understand what those values are? Are they accurate? Are they representative of who we want to be as an organization? And then if I'm the leader in that organization, am I living and breathing and, and representing those values to the organization? And how well is that known? And there's a lot of vehicles, a lot of tools, a lot of techniques to even help the organization organization understand those as well. Um, I was just working with a healthcare organization, a beautiful group. They, um, um, they actually have a very strong mission and culture where they, they're understanding that everything they do, every employee in the company is around serving a patient on a table their family and loved ones that care about that patient and taking care of the caregiver that's delivering their care. Okay. And so I might be in IT working on a server, but that's important and it's important for a reason. And if we can embrace the real reason for why we're there. And then the other an interesting element around this specific company, they actually have a non-violent language policy. So wow. if we want to think about true service and bringing a particular spirit that's very true to their mission and who they represent and how they want to represent, they take any language out of the vocabulary um, in a very caring way. So as an example, we all have had PowerPoint slides where we talk about a, a, a bullet point. Well, a bullet is an aggressive language, so it's a dot point. I mean, this is a simple example, and you may think it's a little funny or what have you, but if you actually think about the energy and the tone behind words in our everyday environment and how they can have impact on people, it's important. The third thing this company does is they begin every meeting with a reflection to carefully set the tone for what we want to accomplish in that meeting to get that outcome. It's a beautiful example of how you can be a service-based organization and inspire your organization to really connect and, and, and just give the most that they have to give in service of the mission of the company. You know, that is so beautiful. And what you do is really go in and help all organizations run in a manner that subconsciously as well as consciously they are inspiring their people yeah. to do what it is that they really want them to do. Absolutely. People 
aren't as motivated by money as we often think that they are. They're motivated by who am I working for and what's the cause that I'm working for and am I seen and am I appreciated. Yeah. And if you can tap into that genius and that soul of a person and that they can see you as real. You're not above, you're not below, but we're in this together. Yeah, you know, and I, I appreciate that you bring that up and I don't want to tell the story and that's something you can tell these folks another time. Mm -hmm. But you know as a top performing professional what it's like not to feel that appreciation. Mm -hmm. And it literally caused you a lot of health issues, right? Absolutely. I mean, I went to a company where on paper we looked to be a perfect match. Um, I brought everything that I knew to bring. You know, we all have things that are, we're better at and not as good at. And uh, I was there to grow a practice. And some things shifted where the leadership team changed before I even started on day one. The expectations were out the window. And I had a four-year journey of, of where I literally lost my essence. Um, where I was trying so hard to contribute and be valued and do great work and my clients loved our work but my company didn't really appreciate it and over that time frame not only did I have some actual health issues um, but, but I experienced leadership decisions that had direct impact on my life and career that didn't include, that didn't weren't well thought through and uh, and they affected me but they affected other colleagues that I was around in that culture as well it wasn't just yeah. me so I had to really step back and take a look at that I had to take a look at myself as well quite honestly is this the place that I was meant to be and am I in alignment with the culture and values of this organization and I never understood until that experience exactly how strong culture and values were and are you really living them and you take that experience, which, you know, they say everything we go through actually helps us and other people. Mm -hmm. So you take yeah, that experience, as, as sad and unfortunate it was, but yeah, you totally know right. what needs to happen. And so you can, from a point of knowledge and a point of having been there, done that, make these changes and help these folks to become the kind of leader they need to be. Absolutely, and it's such a gift actually. You know, we go through things in the moment, might not seem like a lot of fun, but it really has been a gift. And I am now working, I, I hold executive women round tables. I do training in different situations, some with in men and women, quite honestly. Mm -hmm. And we talk about the things that are holding us back. And uh, we spend a lot of time in the self-awareness zone, but then we also talk about how that translates into the organization, how we build a strategy that actually connects with people and the steps that are involved. And it can be so interesting because at the end of the day, what I have learned is even the most seasoned executives suffer from overwhelm, uh, indecision, lack of confidence. They feel they're not heard. Um, uh, there might be like, I, you know, I, I need to be doing more, and I'm not, I'm not doing more. And and as, as opposed to just really understanding how they may be holding themselves back, instead of really intentionally and authentically defining how they want to create their results. And that's an interesting dynamic to play with at the individual level, rather at, at more than the organizational level. Oh, I really like that. Yeah. And, you know, strategy and having a plan like your five C's are fabulous, and that's what helps us get there. Those blueprints. Mm, absolutely. And Let me share yeah. what the five C's are, because we haven't done that yet. So the first C we've talked about is consciousness. But the second C, clarity. How well have you defined uh, what your strategy actually is, and what does it mean to the people in your organization? It's not having a name and a brand that says we want to grow our business by X percentage. You have to take it the step further to have that roadmap to show what does it mean in terms of change, process, technology, your people change. People have to understand that. Then you have to think about the third C, which is creating the container. That's your culture of your business. Mm -hmm. Really, what's the tone, the energy that you're setting, the environment that you're intentionally creating, intentionally creating not at the stated value level but every day when you choose to walk into a meeting how do you choose to show up in that meeting and then the fourth C is collaboration it's a style of working bringing people together so that they're sharing their ideas and their energy and how the group really comes and creates more than the individual and the, the last C is connection how do you and I connect how do well do I understand your talents 
what you care about, what is important to you, not only in work, but in your life, mm -hmm. and how do I let you see me as human as well? We build a trusted relationship that actually allows us to be in this together. Oh, that is wonderful. That's a great blueprint. Mm -hmm. And you all need to have a blueprint. And you know, that comes back and reminds me of the event we're at here. Yes. I mean, Dave's got his awesome that blueprint. They've got a lot of strategies. Yes. But you know, we are at the Speaking Empire Amplify event. If you were to give me oh, one wow you've gotten so far, and I know that's hard because there's many, but one wow, what would it be? You know, I am so grateful to be here. This has been a fabulous event. I've been to several, <laughs> many as I've been moving from being a corporate person to an entrepreneur. That's been a learning curve, right? So I've looked to other people to learn, to, to understand, to grow my skill sets. And not only is there a clarity of, of blueprint, if you will, that they provide with the information, but this session has been truly a working session. It's not where people tell you a concept, they actually give you tools and mechanisms to work through. But even beyond the value that that can create, there is a real synergy in my belief system with this team. Yeah. And what has come through in every single moment with Dave and Dustin on stage is the genuine sincerity and authenticity of being of service in their business and how you can be extraordinarily successful and do things bigger in the world. And that's really what High Jump Leadership is about as well. Yeah. So I feel very aligned to be here and very grateful. I love that. and. It, what you do with high jump leadership is really one of those things that takes people to their next level, mm -hmm. their organization therefore to the next level, and their family and the people around them to a new level. Absolutely. So they all need those higher levels, so they need high jump leadership. Yes. So Holly, how do they find you? So you can find me, my website is highjumpleadership.com. There is a contact button that pops up there. So you can schedule time with me, get on my calendar. I'd love to have a talk with you about you and your leadership style or and your leadership needs or your organizational needs. And I'm very happy to give you that time. Oh, I love it. Okay, so High Jump Leadership. Click on the button, have that conversation, schedule the meeting and see if it's a fit, man. Hopefully, she'll accept you as a client, but you'll always have somebody who has your back if she is somebody that works with you. I'm a committed person. And yeah. if you're interested in learning more about the five C's to conscious leadership, there is a free gift on the website as well. So you can download a nice little awesome. white paper that kind of gives you a little bit more around each of those dynamics. All right, we all need to know that. High jump leadership. Go download the, the five C's, schedule an appointment with Holly. Thank Holly, you. it has been an absolute delight. Thank you so and much. Pleasure meeting with you Lovely and as well. talking with you today. Thank you so much for your time.